forgot to film the Chevelle leaving, but we brought this in. This is the race buggy. There you go, people. That's how we roll. So, we got an issue here. I don't know if you guys can see this banana shaped upper control arm. I'm sure you can see that crack going all the way up. All that down there. Yeah, complete failure. These things are made out of, I think, aluminum foil. Some guy went to college, got an engineering degree. Thought, yeah, that looks good on paper. And yeah, it doesn't work. So he uh, did the same thing with the rear arms, and that's why I ended up making these. Because the first time they took it out, the rear one failed on them. So here's what's left of that internally gusseted. arm that made it about a hundred yards off the trailer and tore into pieces. It's made out of paper I think. So, so I built these super beefy indestructible arms. They took it out again. Rear end did good. Front end broke this time. So now it's time to make the front indestructible. So we're gonna build some front arms, three over. Probably might go with the stock ball joint setup. Like to use a uniball, you know, ball, but for money reasons, we might just go this way, save a couple bucks. So they seem to hold up pretty well. And you know, we have lots of spares lying around, so. All right, so I am getting a tube bender, but I don't think I'm gonna make these out of tube because we're just gonna do the upper and we wanna kinda keep it boxy looking, so. Big issue here was, obviously they didn't spread the load of this shock mount when they added three inches for the long travel, and it just buckled. So when I build my shock mount, I'm definitely gonna spread the load as far as I can. And I think I'm just gonna build it out of eighth inch steel box. Probably get something a little thicker than this. This is one inch, I think I'll go with like inch and a quarter. So it's closer to what this is. And uh, we'll reuse the old stuff as much as we can and do it for as cheap as we can. And see if we can fix it up and then we'll take it out and try and break it. tires about <laughs> a little difference there with that bent arm so probably gonna start tearing this thing down got the arm off so let's take a look at it so I don't think it's supposed to look like that let's go ahead and flip it over so engineering college isn't always the best thing pretty sure the guy that probably never went off or anything everything he's built has failed. So now it's time for Heimlich Hot Rods here to make it bulletproof. All right, how's it going today, guys? So first things first, I'm gonna work on my mounting points that are gonna go on the buggy. Now, 
They made this one. And I'm not going to reuse it, obviously, because they welded it on there because it's not even the right thickness of steel for the ball joints. Now, really, it should be 7 16 for the C clip there. So, this is 3 8. It's pretty darn close. So, it's got like 30 seconds of an inch shim, it's all gonna need. So, we'll, we'll worry about that later. It's as close as stuff we can get. So, alright, so we're gonna cut out a ball joint mount. got the ball joint pressed in and as you can see it's not really a gap C clip so I think it's gonna be fine it's pressed in tight I might have to open it up a little bit but ball joints still working it actually feels brand new again that's why I know it's probably too tight because it was loose before I put it in so that'll be our, our plate there for our ball joint weld to that and work off of that so I'll show you guys the difference already what we're working with here so the old one obviously thinly bent behind my cot rods way twice as thick pressed in done right all right now you know how that's kind of going to sit. I would have probably made it a little longer, but this is heavy. I'm trying to keep it a decent weight. So, uh, next is uh, i got to make some mounts for this, and I think... I'm going to use that old air on my head. Whatever it meant. Yeah, it was all over the place every day, so... Anyways, I have a stock air around here somewhere. Oh, and then you can cut and blind. This one's dead. It's lower, but... These are the right width, so I'm going to cut these off because finding tubing for this metric size bushing to run the stock bushing factory stuff is really hard to find, so I'm just going to reuse this, clean it up, and I need one for each side, so. Alright, so I chopped that off. Might have to clean it up a little more, but I'm going to clean it up for now. Stock bushing, so now I'm going to have to at least unthread this, and if I don't have a fitting for this, I'm going to cut this one off, figure out how I'm going to reuse it, so. Now that we've got our refurbished parts here, reused and except for the plate for the ball joint, but this turned out pretty good. Got the little thing out one piece, didn't score it up or anything. So 
not bad. Let's get them put on and I'll show you guys how I'm going to figure out the angles and everything on this. Alright, as you can see I got crusty old parts in here. But it's going to work, so. The nicest thing is the piece I've built so far. So I'll show you how I'm going to do this, guys. So, I got this. The machine's level. It's up on jack stands, so it's not moving anywhere. I got the jack stands on the lift there. So, uh, basically, I just checking the degrees here. I got uh, 20 degrees of angle right there on that lower arm. Because this, this lower arm's not damaged, so I'm going to start with that. So we got 20 degrees there. So that's good. So now... I need a caster angle somehow. Well, let's get camber angle first. So, I need zero for these two bolts. All right, now this thing, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's sitting at zero, which isn't really desirable, I think, for off-roading, the zero camber angle. I like to have it a little more. So that would be a negative camber angle. And now we want positive caster, which, which will actually uh, take this angle and lean it back a little bit. So I don't know where those bolts aren't going to be good to get it off of. So, all right, so I was kind of looking at this thing and I was checking out these bottom plates and how thin they are. It's probably gonna fail next. And then I look at this side and that top one. That ball joint's not even welded in. It's a factory one, it looks like. And that one's thicker also. It's not as thick as what I'm using, but it's thicker. So he's using all sorts of different stuff here. He probably already broke it once and then scrapped a bunch of stuff together, put it together and sold it. And we were the suckers to buy it. Not me, but somebody I know. All right, guys, hope you liked the video today. Um, didn't get a lot done after getting to the steel yard this morning and uh, doing all my running around. So we got it, uh, we got it mocked up. Got that going and that. So, that's all we got done today. Cut some stuff up, made some parts. Tomorrow, we should have a complete upper control arm. At least on one side. So stay tuned, tomorrow I'll be finishing this and I'll have the video up tomorrow night, hopefully. And if all goes well. So, see you guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share. And uh, thanks for watching.